So with this tutorial, what I'm going to do is we are going to take various elements, okay, blend them together to make it look so appealing and so beautiful. And I will show you how to also do some color grading inside of Canva. So if you want to be able to learn all of this, please make sure you stick along to the end because I'm going to make sure this is an exciting tutorial you would enjoy. Hey everyone, Benjamin here, a verified Canva expert based in Ghana. If this is your first time on this channel, I think subscribing to this channel makes you a fantastic Canva designer. And if you're an OG, I salute you so much for the continued support. So yes, I think that's all I have to say for now. And there are two things, there are two things, but I'll say that at the latter part of this video. So let's dive straight into Canva and let's get started with our design. Okay, so you can see these are all the things I had to put together. I know you can't see them, but you are seeing this a complete design. And to be able to follow this tutorial i have all the resources or the elements i use which you cannot find in canva i have them linked down in the description box below so just make sure you have downloaded them and uploaded them into canva so that you know following this tutorial would be so easy and so smooth because i don't want you stressing and i also don't want you to face any roadblock okay so let's get started all right so i just have my blank canvas and i'm using the dimension 1080 by 1350 you should know that by now if you're an og <laughs> okay so once you have that the first thing we are going to do is to pick our image okay so that's the first image we'll use we have it here and i'll just right click set image as background okay if you want to crop it just double click okay you can just move it how you want it so this is the first thing we just have to do the second thing we are going to pick is this rock element okay which you should also find and i'll paste it in here this i didn't find in canva but if you are on canva you can use you can actually find this jungle um photo in canva so just come into photos and just search for i think jungle you should see it okay so that's it yeah you can see it so i would increase the size of this rock and i'll just position it maybe somewhere here which i think is cool okay now that we have this what we are going to do next is we are going to be adding our jack daniels okay so i will paste it here and just drop it right on top of this you know rock because you know we want to promote this so let's assume we are creating a design for jack daniels this is how we are going to go about it so you can see what we have at the moment and already what we have is looking complete i think it's something we can just say hey client you know i think i'm done so you can just send me my money <laughs> <laughs> but this is not complete in my opinion there are more things we can do to make this design look so beautiful so what are some of the things let's check it out so to make sure this is looking more appealing let's add more stuff okay so the first thing you can just do is to search for vine plant okay in element and you should see this vine plant over here you can just click to add it okay then we will just make it bigger like this and just place it here just so that we are blending the rock and the you know the bottle we have over here the next thing we can just do is to add these leaves okay so you can just come into element and just just search for leaves okay when I mean, search for leaves you should see a lot of leaves in here just choose the ones you want so i you know position this down here and i can just duplicate by using ctrl d and i'll just rotate it something like that duplicate just send it to the back and duplicate and you know send this to the back okay and yeah, i'll just send it backward then i will duplicate this and position it here okay so somewhere here like that i can also rotate this and make it bigger duplicate it i can send it to the back so you can see it's just a matter of duplications and all that now with the vine plant let's search another vine plant okay and we can see we have this fine one over here even though i didn't use this from the beginning but i think this is actually cooler okay so i would reduce the size okay so that you can see it well and we can have something like this so that it will look like the plant is growing around our drink okay even though i don't drink i don't take alcohol but you know just for those who let's say it was a client i was designing for okay so yeah you can see what we have at the moment this looks like a complete design we can just send out to our clients but i'm very sure you and i know that you know, as much as this is looking beautiful it's not the end because we would love to blend all the colors together because we've used various elements even though they are all green but it looks like they have some variations of green so we want to blend them together so that they all look together and blend it okay i think my words are not but you understand what i mean right so this is what we are going to do we'll first of all pick the background okay come into edit photo and choose adjust when you're in adjust with the tint you know just move the tint more to the green part okay and with the temperature how would you want your design to feel do you want it to feel more warm or more cold with that we can also adjust that so i'll move it to the warm area okay then i'll come into my effects 
scroll down and i'll choose blur and i'll apply some blurriness to my design okay so i'll just i don't want it to be too much because we want the focus also to be on the drink then we select our rock okay or the rock of ages come into you know edit photo and come into adjust then i move it more to the tint as well and you can see now let me come in here you can see now it's blending with our image okay so move it here and make it more warm then with the leaves you're going to do the same thing for the leaves okay Okay, so make it warmer then i would right click copy style and paste it because it's the same leaf okay so right click copy style and apply it to this leaf we have in here so let me move this leaf to the top right click copy style and okay i think the leaf is behind okay so let me just move it to the top then right click copy style paste it on the leaf and we'll just paste it on this one as well so right click copy style and paste okay so you see what we have at the moment we'll drop all of these ones down then what we can also do is we can just apply some blurriness to it so blur increase the blur a little bit you know do the same for this increase the blur a little bit increase the blur for this one also a little bit and i think with all the leaves you are going to do the same so increase the blur right click copy style choose right click copy style choose okay so that you don't have to be repeating the whole thing over and over and over again so this is at the back so we just increase the blur all right so what we can do is we can just maybe make this bigger okay and we want it to consume a large part of our design so we'll make it more bigger okay all right so we can see we have something going on which i think is beginning to look cool now another thing we don't adjust is this particular leaf because it's looking odd so we'll come also into adjust moving more to the green part the tint should be warmer okay then i can come into the vibrance here yeah, vibrance and increase the vibrance just to make sure the color is looking nice and the saturation make it more green so if you want to make something look more green you increase the saturation so i'll increase the saturation of this also so you can see what we have at the moment it's looking beautiful now we've done all of that we want to be able to add some blends to it okay so we are going to add some gradient to it so what we do is just press r on your keyboard okay and we'll just position this here slide it all the way up here then we come into our colors click on the color again and come to gradient to the second color we are going to make the transparency zero oh it looks like i just kept it 100 so i'll just make it zero and i'll choose the linear gradient i don't like it this way so i come to position and i will choose 180 then i think i would want a deeper green for this so i'll come to the green and i'll slide it downward more nice one okay then we duplicate this bring it all the way to the top okay because we want the focus to be on the drink okay so i can right click and i can just choose layer send to back okay then i can just drag it down a little bit like this so you can see what we have at the moment nice one there so the next thing we can do is just to add our text because now we've blended almost everything so we'll just add our text so i'll press t on my keyboard to add the text then i can just say drink responsibly okay because we want to make sure people are not taking this as food juice <laughs> okay so i will just change the color to white so that we can just see everything clearly okay then we come into element and say 18 plus because we don't want anyone younger than that to drink that okay so see all and you can just choose the nicer ones i like this one sweeter and more okay <laughs> i like this one more not please pardon my english don't say oh african gay is teaching us bad english no i'm not teaching you bad english i'm just speaking english okay so i will position this here okay then another thing i can do is just to duplicate it bring this in i can say the refreshing taste okay of nature okay so of nature so i can select all and you know the jack daniel brand is like a professional brand so we would want to use a serif font okay so there are so many fonts you can use so you can just search for a serif and just use any serif font of your choice so the refreshing taste of nature this looks beautiful and maybe it's too long keep it like this okay and i'll reduce the line spacing so the line spacing like that uh -huh. then and the reason is because we want it to fit the width of the ship okay not the width of the bottle if i'm correct okay we don't want it to be too wide like that then i'll just come into effect come to shadow and just apply some slight shadow to the text okay yeah so we can see is slight but maybe let me just make the shadow transparent should be more a little bit okay so something like that and add some blurriness to it offset reduce it slightly okay sometimes you just have to do things in a slight manner it doesn't have 
have to be too obvious so we would, t- we would center it and i believe this is opportunity to help us center our drink so yeah this is what we have at the moment and i'm very sure you enjoyed this video just let me know and i'm very sure you enjoyed this video i'd love to see your version and please if you love this video one way to support or just to make me know that this video really helped you was hitting on the like button if you have any comments just leave it in the comment section below i always make sure i'm responding to my comments the name is benjamin check out canva pro check out my templates check out my workshop recordings you can just find so much content from me so yes the name is benjamin there's no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video